The difference between concrete curing and drying is no laughing matter, and confusing the two can also be a huge hassle when you're trying to get a project done. If you want to have credibility on the job site and keep your project issue free, then keep watching. But first, if you find videos like this helpful, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for future videos. All right, let's get into it. We know that concrete is a combination of three basic components, cement, aggregate, and water. When these are mixed, a chemical reaction occurs that binds them together and causes the concrete to harden. That is concrete curing. But just because concrete is cured or hard doesn't mean that it's dry. In fact, cured concrete is actually still very much wet. You see, during the curing process, excess water from the mixture, water doesn't chemically bind with the cement, has to evaporate. Until the water evaporates and the RH of the concrete reaches the desired percentage, the concrete is not dry. So, how do you get concrete to dry? Evaporation and a moisture-stable environment are key components. Eventually, water will begin to evaporate through the surface of the concrete, and as the water evaporates, water that is deep in the concrete will creep up through the capillaries, and then it will evaporate as well. And when does this evaporation stop? It all depends on the humidity of the surrounding air. As long as the surrounding air can hold more water, and is a lower humidity than the concrete itself, the concrete moisture will continue to evaporate. But if the humidity of the air is too high, then the water in the concrete won't evaporate and it will stay inside the concrete. The evaporation and drying process of the concrete stops. So as you can see, the difference between drying and curing are very important when it comes to your project. While curing begins immediately and can take around 28 days to complete, Drying is a much longer process. In fact, the rule of thumb is that concrete needs 30 days to dry for every inch of slab thickness. For example, if you have a four inch slab, that means you could be waiting 120 days for your concrete to completely dry. Of course, drying could take even longer if conditions aren't ideal. Maybe the building isn't enclosed yet. The HVAC isn't on yet. Maybe you've gotten really unlucky with the weather. And if you put flooring down before the concrete is dry, then your beautiful floors could be ruined. It already takes a long time for concrete to dry. Why would you want to waste even more time guessing the RH of your slab and even risk jeopardizing your project? Luckily, there's a way to find the precise RH of your slab. The most accurate test for this is an in situ RH test and Wagner Meter's Rapid RHL 6 system is easy to use and meets or exceeds industry standards. If you want to take your concrete slab from cured to dried, you can depend on Wagner Meters to get you the information you need. I'm Jason Spangler, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.